Shirosens is here and welcome to a new video. This time I'll solve the part 5 and 6 of the chemistry exam of Momo Kaksho 2008, physical properties of organic compounds and hydrocarbons. So let's do it. Problem 5 says, what is the state of compounds 1 to 5 when these are exposed at 0 Celsius degrees under one atmosphere? So the topic here is the physical properties of the organic compounds. For each substance we should know the melting point and the boiling point in Celsius degrees of every representative compound of each functional group, and with this information we can determine in which state are at 0 Celsius degrees. For methanol the melting point is minus 97 and the boiling point is 64.5, so at 0 Celsius degrees methanol is liquid. For acetic acid the melting point is 16.6 and the boiling point is 118, so at 0 Celsius degrees acetic acid is a solid. For acetaldehyde, the melting point is minus 121 and the boiling point is 20, so at 0 Celsius degrees, acetaldehyde is a liquid. For acetone, the melting point is minus 94 and the boiling point is 36, so at 0 Celsius degrees, acetone is a liquid. For ethylene, the melting point is minus 169 and the boiling point is minus 102, so at 0 Celsius degrees, ethylene is a gas. And there are the answers. When 12 mg of an ether compound X consisting of only carbon, hydrogen and oxygen atoms was completely combusted, 26.4 mg of carbon dioxide and 14.4 mg of water were formed. After 12 grams of X was heated in a 1 liter reaction vessel and completely vaporized, the compound showed 6.56 atmospheres at 127 Celsius degrees. Answer the following question. Question 1. What is the empirical equation of the compound X? So the topic here is hydrocarbons, especially the complete combustion which is the following reaction, where we need to calculate the molar relation of carbon dioxide and water. Since the problem says that in this combustion 26.4 mg of carbon dioxide is formed, we can calculate the moles, giving 0.6 millimoles. Doing the same process for water, we get 0.8 millimoles of water. Then we realize that the molar relation is 3 to 4. Since the compound is an ether, the index of oxygen is 1, and balancing the carbon and hydrogen we get x equal to 3 and y equal to 8. So the empirical equation of the compound x is carbon 3, hydrogen 8, and oxygen. Next question. Calculate the molar weight. Since the information of the problem, the compound x is an ideal gas, so we use the universal equation of ideal gases in order to calculate the molecular weight of compound x, which is 60 grams per mole. Next question. What is the molecular equation of the compound X? So if we have the molecular weight, we can calculate the multiple of the empirical equation of X. Then we realize that it is the same compound, carbon-3, hydrogen-8, oxygen. Next question. Select the structure of the compound X. Since we know the molecular equation of X, and since the problem says that it is an ether, we find in the alternative the following structure, and the answer is the alternative 2. And that's all for this exam. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel to get the newest videos. Visit my Facebook page or please send me an email if you're an online class if you want it could be in English or Spanish. See you next video!